What's cooking? Like, am I crooked? No, you're good. You it's sure? really good, yeah. Even if it's cooked, it's fine. Oh, I got my hair in the vinegar. Okay. All right, well, let's get the party started, right? Welcome to my first tutorial on YouTube. So I'm going to have um, poaching water so that we can make the eggs bad eggs again. So we're going to need white vinegar. I put uh, four ounces and then I did two cups of water in a small pot. And then I'm just going to put it to simmer. I'm going to use the same pot for poaching to actually make the hollandaise. Just make sure that whatever you're going to put in the water or have on the on the stove is actually heat proof, oven proof. You don't want it to explode or you don't want to have an accident. So I named these eggs Benedict kitchen sink because it's literally everything that I have in my kitchen. Um, I had a request to make the eggs Benedict tutorial um, and I don't have all the ingredients that I had when I made it um, for you guys the first time. But I want to show you guys that there's a million ways to make Benedict and it can be healthy and delicious. Um, and this is another option. You know, I had cherry tomatoes in the fridge. I had some leftover sauteed kale. Like the goal, I think, should be to empty your fridge as best as you can. You know, you don't want food to go to waste. I don't know if you saw that just now. The rest of the sweet potato, I'm gonna use for sweet potato puree for my daughter. So the same instructions go for the sweet potato like the last time. Uh, you wanna put it on an oven proof dish or a half sheet pan. Um, I'm going to cut up some garlic and then put some olive oil and throw this in the oven for about 12 minutes. Um, you could throw it for longer. It depends really on how thick the pieces are that you've cut. Um, my best suggestion instead of watching the time would be to poke the potatoes every once in a while to see how they feel. So like I said, drizzle a little bit of, of olive oil and make sure that it's nice and even. Um, I use a brush because I have a brush. You don't have to have a brush to do this. You can just mix the oil and the garlic together and then put it on the sweet potato and make sure that it's evenly coated before it goes in the oven. Okay, so the second thing that we're going to do is make the hollandaise sauce while the sweet potatoes are in the oven so i'm going to do two egg yolks and half of a lemon um, i'm going to use some dijon um, but i'm going to do dijon at the end so right now it's just about separating the eggs and getting just the egg yolk and then the egg whites you can save them for breakfast and make a nice bowl or you can I can serve them to, you know, the baby. Uh, my dog really likes egg whites. So it'll find a use. So here's that half a lemon that I was talking about. So blend the yolks and the lemon juice together nice and evenly before you bring them to heat. Once the water is boiling, um, you can bring it down to a simmer 
or even lower than a simmer basically you just want hot water but you don't want um, like bubbling or boiling um, so, and you're gonna be very careful so what you want to do is you want to dip the glass or the bowl whatever you're using slowly into the water and take it out and off of the heat and then dip again until you see a thick consistency in your hollandaise so i'm starting to get that nice like fluffy yolk look um, so i'm gonna keep going and then i'm gonna add some butter and let the butter melt from the heat of the yolk and make the yolk a really nice consistency And there it is, so that's the basic hollandaise. And now we're gonna bring it back to the cutting board. And we're gonna add a little bit of Dijon just for some flavor. So I have these grape tomatoes left over from last week's imperfect food box and I want to use them before I lose them. So I'm going to cut some up and then I'm going to cut up some cilantro and mix that up together as a garnish for our plate and it'll be delicious because I think tomatoes and eggs are meant to be together. So this is the sautéed kale that I was talking about. It's not a lot, it's just enough for what we're doing. It's what I had left over from the Eggs Benedict that I made. So now that everything is ready and the sweet potatoes are about to be out of the oven, I am going to poach the egg. Um, so I like to crack an egg into a container. Um, it makes it easier to poach the egg than to crack it over the pot because um, sometimes it makes more of a mess. So we're about to put the eggs in the poaching water but for now we're going to set up the plate so that we're ready for when that poached egg is done. So I'm just going to do one slice of the sweet potato because we're only doing one egg. I am going to garnish with the sautéed kale that I have left over from last week. And I'm gonna make sure that everything is on the sweet potato and not all over the plate because that's just, I'm picky. So for the poaching water, you want it to be at a simmer at least. And then you want to either use a whisk or a spoon to like make like a t like a funnel like a little tornado for the egg to sit in so that it actually becomes that perfect poach so our egg is ready and we are ready to plate And now for the best part. 